And hello there guys, Medieval Squirrel here with part 49 of our Kemna campaign for Mortal Empires. And we're going to pick things up pretty much where we left them last time. We have five armies over here by Paravon ready for an assault onto either Waterfall Palace or Vol's Anvil. Um, we have held off the dwarf successfully over here and to be fair with Chaos coming south, I don't feel any reason to have more than a single force over here anymore because if i mean let's be completely honest if we lose these territories they're not really making apart from castle templehof they're not really making us any money whatsoever um so i don't feel bad about getting rid of them uh we're going to get rid of the defiled calm because quite frankly don't require it um so what we're going to do is we're going to drag uh got round but back when you are only level one so we'll take you and we'll force march over this way and we'll grab Manfred and we'll force march over this way. And basically what we'll do is either the dwarves will attack us, in which case we'll turn around and beat the shit out of them again. Um, or they won't attack us and they'll try defending what they've got left after chaos has ruined them and um, uh, Norska have utterly ripped their empire apart because they seem to be leaving us alone at the moment um which is entirely fine by me and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go and threaten Carrick Biftar and King's Glade because if we can keep the Wood Elf armies down here that's fantastic that means they're not in the way of the Oak of Ages if we can't then they head north into those five armies and these three armies will come in and take out King's Glade and threaten the Oak of Ages so either way for them it's a no-win situation now just to quickly uh, show how stupid I was, uh, the uh, Vault of Nagash, that is actually to do with the Black Pyramid uh, settlement down here. You can build the Vault of Nagash and you get loads of bonuses, including two grand a turn to your income. So once we've so, uh, uh, sorted out the Wood Elves, what we're going to do is we're going to march down here, try and get a non-aggression pact with Kemri and just go and take that down uh, take out the Black Tower. Not the Black Tower, sorry. Uh, the Pyramid of Nagash. Now, with our money, we are going to hold on to it for this turn, but depending on what this force here does, whether it heads north to um, sort of counteract us up there or not, I might build another force down here at Castle Caracasson to pretend we're going to attack the King's Glade because... Everything realistically we need to keep as much of the enemy separated up as possible uh, and we're just going to end the turn hopefully they don't move north and we can just bring these other armies into threaten but it really does depend on what they do as to how we go about destroying and ripping apart this bloody forest that has been a pain in the backside for about 150 odd turns Okay, Southern Realms, they've ended the non-aggression pact. Not an awful lot I can do about that. Ooh, that's not good. Bring me flesh Who's that in the north? Is that chaos? Dark magic that is, is Beastmen. Uh... How long is he going to hold out for? Alright, so I've got six turns to attack them. If Bar is going to rebel again. Yes. Okay, so we'll head this way. Twartarfen. Try leveling that up. Sigvold is doing his thing. Grenstadt is probably going to get beansed. Uh, these armies can head down this way. I will bring him into there. And then we're going to go after that force. 
Uh, we're just going to auto resolve because we know we can do that one. Doesn't matter that we lost some skelly warriors, and we're going to take replenishment. Uh, confident attacker, so aura size has gone up. Is good. Uh, we're going to head back this way, and then we're just going to very quickly raise some skelly spears. Uh, but we're all going to be replenished in one turn, so it's fine. Uh, Sasha will go for Slippery. Uh, they've done exactly what I thought they would do. They've moved up to Waterfall Palace, but it's okay. Certainly. King's Glade still doesn't have a lot of defences. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move to there. I've taken some damage, but then raid. Do the same with this force and raid. Bring it all to me. This is all going to give us money as well. Very, very tasty. Uh, move you to there. And raid. And then Kemla. Move to... There-ish. Can we... Yes, there we go. And raid. So... That's making us an awful lot of money now, and hopefully we should be able to come out of raiding and just hit Vool's Anvil or Waterfall Palace, whichever one is the least defended. They've had to world roots over there, which means that they're not going to be able to recruit more troops, which means if they stay at Waterfall Palace, that's going to be the one to hit. And if we can take out one of their towns, it's better for us. Now, with all of this money, Blackstone Post, let's level you up. To a provincial capital. Or should we... No, we, we're going to have to wait for Altdorf anyway, so... We may as well go for Blackstone Post. And with Eelheart, we're just going to throw walls on. Because the more defences we can have up there, the better. Uh, and this army then... We can force march out this way a bit. Hero hasn't moved. Eugene. No. Fine. That's going up. He is... Probably going to want assault units. We'll sit him there. And then we'll just end the turn. Doesn't matter if we lose a little bit of ground to Chaos. Ideally, we want to pull slightly out of the way and uh, let Chaos just head straight through the Dwarves. With any luck, they won't spend too much time attacking us. Okay, uh, we don't want Chaos Corruption, we want Vampiric Corruption, so we're going to go for that. Gottfried has been wounded, so he's gone. Zifbar's about to rebel. Uh, a okay, Temple Hoth, you need walls. And a garrison, that, that's what we require. Uh, we want you to keep everything out. Phil Obersteer, probably also going to want walls. I'm hoping they're trying to build up Master. towers or something to get in there. And they haven't moved to Vol's Anvil. Oh, huzzah. Which means... Move to there. Move to there. And we'll bring Manfred as fast as he can down this way. Arverheim... Let's just leave that for a minute. Over here then. Kemla can't quite get in that far. So we're going to try and bring everyone so that they sit around Kemla. And then hit one of them. Don't really want to be sat in the middle too much. Oswald Morfen. Uh, you'll 
not really a magic-y person, are you? Uh, Beguile. Uh, I would like some of these as well. Hero hasn't moved. Eugene. Uh, Waldemar. Not really doing anything, are you? Just sort of hang around here. Maybe wound him. Success! Lovely. Let's put him back just a smidge. Uh, Oakenhammer. I mean, we could, but I don't think we want to. We'll upgrade the moot, though. See if we can start adding on some garrisons and walls and stuff. And then end the turn. You're probably right, we probably can't win this, but we're going to give it a go anyway. Okay, so where are they deploying? Two towers over here with some gore herd, beast lord. The main lot are going to be coming in from over here with the ram. So, uh, right, let's have crypt ghouls over here. For a minute. Actually, just everyone. Let's come back here. So, they're going to be coming in. They're nasty blighters. So, we obviously want the spearmen here. And we're going to chop them up very close together. Like so. That. Going to be that group there. Now what we also want is some zombies in there. Because they are going to hold them up very nicely. That's all that group. And then supporting them can be Gorst. Now, over this side then, because we want something over this side to defend. They're going to be mainly melee infantry. Probably a good idea to try and get these towers up. And running. Uh, and so if we put the Crypt Ghouls up on the wall. They are not very good against armour. But if we can get them up and going. That's our wall team. So go for group 1 and then group 2. Uh, to help out with the flying group this is going to be... Sorry, to help out with the walls, we're going to have the flying group there and cavalry back here. They can't spawn anything in, I don't think, so not too bad there. And then to help over here, let's have two banks of skeletons spread out. One there and one over here. Group 5 can be the Grave Guard. We're just going to have to throw them in wherever, to be honest. But we'll keep them back. Now, the enemy don't seem to have any ranged units, which is good. But it all sort of depends, really. 
as to just how good it is. Uh, okay, let's let's have those over here. Right, so focus on the Minotaurs and the Centigals. And over here, focus on the Lord and on that Ghoul Herd. Don't really care about the Towers. Actually, no, don't really care about the Towers. See if you can take out some of the Lord's health points. Now, fighting on the walls, probably not the best idea. You kind of want them to clob up. But if we can keep the towers going, then that will be better for us. Okay, these two units then. That in that gap. And then... Those over here. They are taking a bit of damage, these Minotaurs, but not as much as I would personally like. Uh, I mean, we could do a wind of death, but that's not really going to help in this particular incidence. Uh, Spirit Leech might be useful, though. Now, these Gore Herds, they're nasty. And to be honest, we're not doing that much damage against them. Uh, that's a low threat and a high threat. Right, let's get in there and see if we can knock out that gore herd then. Over there. Defending the walls is not always the best option, but we needed the towers. And if we can spread them out and take them apart piece at a time... Or at leech. Ah, oh, we're not able to. Right. They're wavering. They're pretty much gone. Now we can pull them out. Two units of grave guard up there, please. The other two units of grave guard in here, please. We'll push all of these skeletons in here. Ghost. Right, we're going to hold off on that. Oh, can we throw it back in and through? Now this I want to see. In slow-mo. Come on. In through the gate. Oh no, it doesn't go in through the gate. No! It was such a waste. Okay, let's just heal up everyone there then. Uh, you guys, come in over here. Lamia Witch. He's nasty, so let's go after those ghoul herds instead. And... You two units kind of press your way onto them. Balance of power is swaying towards us. Black Knights and Barding. Those Minotaurs are very high threat. So these two Crypt Ghoul units go and run down here please. You two units fight over there. Graveguard into those Ghoul Herd. You able to get in against them? Good. All of you push in there. Alright, now pull yourselves out. She's doing fine. We're going to bring these guys out. They're going to charge into the back down here. Those two units, press your way over here. Go and help them out. We're doing okay down here. We're not doing that badly. 
tentacles are being nasty though. Now with the cavalry coming out and going round, should be okay. Right, go in, take out that ghoul herd. Okay, doing well. Black Knight's coming over here. So, they've pulled out. They're completely gone. Good. Bring yourselves around. She's not doing too well anymore. Pull yourself out. Now, flyers, come over this way. You lot on the wall over here. Press yourselves around and into the Beast Lord, please. All you flyers, go and jump on that ghoul herd. Black Knights and Barding come out and over here. Those centigors have just disappeared. Two units of zombies go off after there. In fact, I'll also take a unit of Grave Guard. Come down here, please. We need a bit of uh, a bit of punch. Okay. See what happens. Into the rear of them. Okay, Black Knight's back out. Form up over here. Actually, over here. Because if they chase you, they're going hit, to get hit by those uh, towers now. Zombos up on the wall. By where the towers are. This unit to the centre. All of this lot, all of you onto that beast lord, please. All of you lot onto the beast lord. In against the centigors. Again. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Now pull out. Kind of want them to come after me now. And heal the group. There shall be darkness. Okay, Vargeist, Vargulfs. Come over here. Actually, all of you, come and stop them from capping me, please. At once. You can go and stand over there. Roll in on the Beast Lord. You lot after the Warhounds. They are broken again. Now pull out. Let the uh, towers do their work. Good old Chaos Warhounds. And back in against the Minotaurs again. And then back out. You know what, just come and stand over here. That lord is going down, not as quickly as I'd like, but still going down. Let's uh, suck some life out of him, shall we? Bring the flyers over and pop them in there. And victory, good. Right, let's see how many of them we can kill and if we can get rid of their centigors and minotaurs and stuff. Is the more of them we get rid of, the better it's going to be for us in the long term. Good. There we go. Battle has ended. Oh, come on. Close victory. I don't think it was that close. I mean, we still had quite a bit of magic that we just outright didn't use. We only lost about 700 troops. They lost a thousand. They are completely screwed if Chaos comes after them. But then again, so are we if they come after us now because we've got no replenishment.
a close victory. Most of our garrison is still intact as well, which is good. Uh, we are going to take... Do you know what? I think I'm going to risk it and take the dark magic. Because even though I know chaos is close... There's not going to be a lot I can do about it with or without the replenishment. Yeah, I'm going to risk that. Uh, Zifbar has rebelled. Waldenhof has been sieged. Uh, we now get extra income from vampire crypts and that kind of thing. Uh, we've got a mission. Defeat Dulles. Certainly not. Uh, but to be honest, they've left Vol's Anvil open, so I'm thinking hit Vol's Anvil with four large armies. They will serve. Uh, Rambert von Karlsbruck. Let's just remove you. Thank you. Uh, dark magic. And then we'll head uh, force march into Oakenhammer. So it will give some public order, but we're not in the capital. We kind of want to be close-ish. So we'll go for the Restless Deadfall movement. I know it means he's going to be an absolutely terrible spellcaster, but let's face it, against this... Mirror Guard. Ooh. Nice. Uh, against this, not really going to be able to do a lot anyway. So, uh, best hope is to upgrade the garrisons and hopefully they can hold for a smidge. Uh, Warherd there. Not able to do much against that. Talapheim. Uh, what's that give you? Four Crypt Ghouls, three Grave Guard. That's much better. Let's go for that. And let's throw walls in. Altdorf. Uh, no, we'll hold off on that for a minute. And we'll go for... Eelheart having Awakened Battlefield. And we'll upgrade... The Lich Yard. Although we might change all of that. Alright, you, Isabella, you can level up. So let's give you... Curse of Undeath, I think. Yep. Uh, and then over here, Elsa von Schwarzhafen. Go for more Soul Blight. And all of you can come down towards Vul's Anvil and Obliteratus, hopefully. Okay, hopefully, because I'm not quite sure if it's going to work yet. Uh, let's move everyone into position and then we'll wrap up the part. So, Vlad... Sorry, Manfred. We move to there, and then we raid. That way we've still... We're not losing anything. Move you to there. Oh, no, not ambush. Raid. And then you to there and raid. Now, we could be defending our northern borders, and we quite possibly should be defending our northern borders, but we're not going to... Is it's more important to remove the Wood Elves. Uh, with that... No. No, Altdorf. Uh, do you know what? I am going to do that for the extra public order. Probably silly, but... Um, could defeat them. But they get all these defensive bonuses... They got any defensive buildings here? They've got the garrison building, and that's it. What about down here? What have they got? Eagles, way watchers, rangers, garrison. Okay, right. That sorts it. Leadership means little and nothing to me. But I'm thinking, where's Kemler?
Insolence. Destroy them. Right. We want to control a large army. This is the only way we're going to win this. Obliterate. But we're going to start at the north of the forest and we're going to pull south. Come over here with Layla. Who do we want the most? Right, we need them the most. So we're going to swap those in. Right, we're going to put all of those in and we're going to take those guys out. Because they're more important. And then... We're going to move her over here. Isabella, let's very quickly take that, swap out the zombies, and we'll take Jaeger. You know what? For the hell of it, pop in those, and we'll take the crossbowmen as well. That would be madness. Be gone. Such arrogance. Right, so Kemla, when you go in, you should have Layla. Walter, Oswald. Hey, Layla's not who we want. Kill them, my children. We're going to move Great. Layla away a smidge. Does that give us Isabella? No, Layla's still a bit too close. Yes. Okay, I know this is tedious, guys. I'm really sorry, but it needs to be, yes, good, set up properly. Now, we are going up against a lot of archers. Once again, we're going to basically sacrifice Kemler's front line by charging straight at them. Hopefully, that means that they're going to waste most of their missiles. Uh, and this is what we're going to kick off with next time. We're going to take... The Waterfall Palace, and then head down to either Vols Anvil or Crackles of Findol, and basically work our way south. And we're going to try and stem the tide with this lot, who's going to raid their way up through Karakizor towards either Kingsglade or Karak Buftar, and defend from there. Anyway, that is where we're going to wrap up the part. So if you've enjoyed, and I hope that you have, then don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Check out the videos that should be showing on your screen around about now, and don't forget to tune in next time for some more Kemler action. Bye for now.